tripod, so we're going to see how it works today. I'm doing a Dollar Tree haul today, and I just wanted to show you a couple things that I picked up. My Dollar Tree does not have very many things. So I saw some foam sheets, and I plan on using those for a DIY that I've got planned in the future. And um, this is some of that decorative mesh. In all the times I've gone to our local Dollar Trees, this is the second one I found. So I grabbed it and it'll go in storage for uh, when I get enough that I can do another doll uh, DIY I'm looking at. When I walked into the store, the first thing I found were these bags. Check them out. There's a foil, flowers, dots, and stripes. And I found them in purple or lavender almost, pink and kind of a teal color. So I was very excited and I plan on using these not for bags but cutting them up and using them for cards and for some of my um, photo books. I also saw these. I'm getting used to the camera so if I'm out of the camera angle you have to bear with me on this video. Um, and these are just the foil and I just there's so many things I can do with the foil that that's going to be added to my stash. Now, as you can see here, I have a ton, there we go, a ton of these decorative meshes. These are the burlap ribbon, and they're not decorative mesh, sorry, burlap ribbons. I got them in brown, green, there's the green one, I liked this one, this was a pink one. I kind of thought that would be good for Easter, but they only had two. This is kind of an aqua. Not really teal, it's got a little more green in it. Let's see, and we did the brown. And again, my Dollar Tree never has those in stock, so I grabbed them. Something that I've seen a few people be getting are these um, three-in-one cotton sets. And they're plastic, and I have a couple things I want to do with them and so I bought what they had in the white to, I left some because I, I don't like being the person that takes everything but uh, I was really excited to get those and I think I'll be stocked up on q-tips for a while and another DIY that I'm planning on doing is with their baskets and I have three white ones these are their trash baskets I'll show you this one a little bit better. <laughs> it kind of goes right through it. They're just metal, but very thin and lightweight. And I got three of the black ones. So those are for another project. All right, welcome back. So going on with this was a very big haul and it didn't all fit on my table. So the next thing I got was this uh, Surefresh container. I thought this was so cool and it would be great to um, store some, uh, some of my supplies in. And that's kind of my craft room is green and pink and purple. The next thing I got was a set of these um, Cooking Concepts Microwave Safe Plates, plastic plates. It comes with a set of two. And I'm looking for one more thing from the Dollar Tree and that's going to be for another DIY in the future as well. I have some plans, it's just finding the supplies. I got two of the pizza pans. Those are fun. I actually just did a DIY where I painted it and they paint really nice so I'm excited to see what else I can do with those. My husband my husband might be excited if I actually cooked with them but we'll see. 
Um, so then we got some notepads. These are like sticker notes. They'll be good for my planner or just for making notes. And this one says, say yes to adventure. This one says, stop wishing, start doing. That's kind of my mantra for this year. This one says, stay kind and honest. And this one says, make today great. And that's another kind of mantra for me this year. So that worked out great. They also had these coloring sticky notes. And I, there were three styles that they had at my store. I don't know if there's more. Kind of give you an idea to see what those are. Flowers. And this is kind of geometric. Geometric mandala and flowers. Um, my sister likes to color and I thought I might send these to her. So we'll see um, what we'll do with that. The other thing is, is I like craft paper and I was excited to see they have some different kinds this time. Um, this one has pink. I don't know if you can see that. But look at that design. It's like pink spirals, almost like a Mandela look. So I was excited about that. And this one is light blue and dark blue polka dots. This one's probably my favorite. I don't know if you can see that. Let's see. white. That's got white flowers on it. And some butterflies and different things like that. I really like that. And this one I just thought was cute. And it has doggy paw prints on it. So I thought that was a great thing to pick up. Move those out of the way. On to some other fun stuff. Well, here's a, fun, a few things that I got just because. This is tissue paper, and I got it just because I wanted to see what it was like to unfold the tissue paper. I know, silly, but maybe I'll do that online or on a video and you guys can see how silly it is. But that's what that's all about. I got these princess stickers. They're dimensional stickers. And I'm very excited about them because I plan on using them for the scrapbook I'm working on for my granddaughter. I picked up some twine. Uh, this is that baker's twine. And I got this because I don't have any of these colors. It's a, I hadn't seen these before. It's like a purple and a baby pink and a light blue. So I was really excited about that. And some of these I just picked up because I was in the mood. Uh, these are just some stickers that are, you know, uh, quote bubbles. Well, these ones are shimmery. I don't know. You can see them kind of shimmer. And this is um, kind of a Noah's Ark theme. I like the rainbows. It's really what I got it for. And let's see. Another set of... Oh, it's kind of upside down. But another set of quote bubbles, just in different colors. And another set of quote bubbles. These ones have grid mark or grid look on them. And I got those just because they were a little different too. So I've started kind of looking at bags and stuff for their different uh, shimmers. And I really like butterflies. And I just, I saw this bag and I had to have it. So I'm going to use that butterfly for something. This side is glittery. And then the butterfly is on this side. And it's not glittery, but it's still pretty. Let's see. I'm not showing you all of the these containers I got. Because I bought almost every one. But these are the travel jars, and I have a DIY I'm planning on doing for that for my craft room. So you can see I got a couple packs. Actually, I got like 10 or 15 packs, but they're not all right here. And I picked up some more cotton swabs if I didn't have enough already, but I liked the container this is in. And this is more so I can see if, I can, if there's something I can do with it for another DIY, but I'm not sure yet. I wanted to add to my floral stash just for some decoration, so I picked up these butterflies. There's a brown, a green, and a bluish color. 
and some hummingbirds. I like the pink, it really stood out. And these ones are black and white. I thought they looked kind of elegant, going something elegant. And these birds, and these are like a baby blue and a baby pink, and I just thought that was just really cute for spring. And you can see over here, I have all these flowers. And I really, I saw someone else do a DIY and they had these green flowers and our store didn't have them. I was jealous and they came in. So I grabbed a couple bunches of them and then some white. These are just good ones to have on hand. These are the hydrangeas. I don't know if you can see that. Hydrangeas. I just like having these. They're good fillers and they go really good with the other flowers. So I got a couple different colors. Then for my journal, I picked up these um, Clip Clicks. They're kind of uh, ballpoint pens, but they're colored. And um, I picked some up for my son the other day, and he really liked them, so I got some for myself. I got some paper clips. They're the colored, uh, the primary color ones. I have some of the pastel ones, and I don't have any of these, so I got these because I like. Me I'm going to start making some uh, paper clip, um, decorative paper clips. And I picked up a couple organza bag packs of them. There's eight in each one. And I got two of the green. I needed some organza bags. Now, remember I'm doing a scrapbook for my granddaughter. So a lot of this stuff is some baby ribbons. Let's see. I don't know if you can see it. But that has ducks on it. This one has footprints on it. This one is pink polka dots. And this one has like a bib and socks, a hat, kind of goes around like that. This one's almost red, so I don't know. Oops. It's kind of a dark pink slash red, so I'm not sure if the, how much that'll get used in my book. But this goes with it, and it's just a plaid, the same kind of color scheme. And this one, I love this one. It just says baby on it. So, there we go. So that was my haul for this week, and hopefully I'll get some time so I can make, do some of my DIYs I'm planning on. I'm still looking for a couple more supplies, and thanks for checking into my channel. Remember to click the like button if you liked what I showed, and the subscribe button so you can be ready when I start posting those DIYs, and we'll ch check it back with you later. Bye!